Well, here's a new one for you folks. Day in the life of a transporter. LS, 6 liter. Water pump. And this is what takes the cake. I'm doing a water pump for my mechanic's ex-wife. Because he's out of town working. Isn't that something? Gotta love it. Day in the life of a transporter. I done fought this fan for God knows how many hours now. Two hours, I guess, probably fighting to get it off. Rusted. Everything else. Not to mention my dumb self. Thought it was reverse thread because when I did the one on my Duramax. Seems to me it was reverse thread. So I've been sitting here trying to get it removed and actually been tightening it for the last, I don't know, hour and a half, two hours. But there's the old water pump down there on the floor. You can see I'm hitting her heavy tonight. Pepsi's drink of choice. But the hard work's done. Now I just put it all back together, fill it with coolant, and wheeze out. Switch called freebie. Why I don't know, but such a nice guy. Go pick the truck up with the team on personal conveyance, mind you. Bring it back to her house, put it in the barn. My mechanics shop, mind you. Oh, I bet you guys ain't never seen one of these before. Maybe you have. This is a first generation. One of three of the very first boss hosses ever built. My mechanic's son's grandfather owned it. He had part in the design and development of the clutch and transmission setup on these. This was a prototype, basically. This was... A number two or number three that was ever built by Boss Hoss. Owned by a man named Fat Dad Dan Horton. May he rest in peace. Bike's been in storage, God, 15, 20 years? 15, I'd say at least. Junior inherited it. Whatever happened, I don't know. His mom let her boyfriend slash husband, whatever he was, tinker with it. And this is what Junior's got left to work with. Now he's got to put it back together in memory of his grandfather. This will be one that I help with. But you see it, folks. That's one of the first boss hosses ever built. One of three of the firsts ever. And then there's a old piglet right next to it. There's the tins off it. The original paint. Used to have a license plate that said should be bad. Personalized on it, but yep, fat dad was the only man around man enough to ride that bad boy. I remember it was 425 or 475 horsepower. One sick puppy right there. Anyways, hey, get back to work. Day in the life of transporter. I get this thing back together and I'm going home. Y'all have a good one. Ooh, as you can hear, I'm whooped. Um, do me a favor, like and share the video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. I said I'm always putting up something different every day. Well, every chance I can, every opportunity, I try to upload something. Uh, the headache rack was finished. I haven't shown you guys it mounted on the truck yet. I got to do that yet, so that'll be a follow-up video. But once again, if you like what you see, I am definitely no mechanic, but I am definitely not illiterate to working on a truck or a car 
any type of motor for that matter. Small engines, to big engines as we see, two-stroke engines, snowmobiles, three-wheelers, four-wheelers, I don't care what it is. If it's mechanical and it runs on fuel, it piques my interest. So, and that one there's a transmission job whenever Sean gets back home from out of town working. He uh, works remodeling major retail chain of stores. And first and foremost, he's a transmission man, mechanic. So, anyways, y'all have a good one. I'm out. Dana Lay for Transporter.